When I was born, someone made a little sticker that said feature artist. I do strictly figure and portrait. That's the only thing that interests me. I've tried to be interested in other things and I just like people, I just love people. One of the things that I love most about being an artist and making something out of nothing or taking many parts and combining them into a new way of doing something or a new way of presenting all of those elements is that kind of pioneering aspect. Right now, I'm being recognized for one of the things that I do, but when people ask me what do I do, it's really hard for me to say I make wine stains. I do make wine stains, but I also do a lot of other things. I've been surrounded by artwork all my life. It's just, it's been a way of life for me. I can't imagine not being an artist. I started making wine stains July of 2010. After the first batch, I was really kind of nervous as to what they were gonna do. I know that stains change over time. I wasn't sure if they were gonna start smelling funny. You know, I had no idea what they were going to do, and so I didn't show anybody for a good year. And I uh, just waited, and I watched them, and I put them up, and I, they didn't seem to do anything. They didn't seem to fade too much. And so I thought to myself, all right, well, I will show these to the world. And then it was out of my hands. With the wine stains and presenting the wine stains, it's been a pretty non-traditional path that they've taken. Most of the exposure has been uh, not in a gallery, which I think is kind of special. There are many challenges with the wine stains. As I said before, it's because I don't know of anybody else doing this, and so I can't just say, I can't look up on a forum, or I can't, you know, look up some other artist and try to get a hold of them and say, hey, I've been having trouble. There's nobody out there for me to talk to that has these answers. The greatest challenge is the fact that these are very organic things that I'm using, you know, the cotton, the wax, the wine, which is actually one of the things I love most about the wine stains is that it's a very simple ingredients. There's no, like, what's in acrylic? I don't know what's in acrylic, but I know what's in wine, and cotton is cotton, and wax is wax, so I like the very simplicity, uh, the nature of that. but. There is the fact that these will change, and I'm not entirely certain how they will change. And at, for a while, I was really scared to admit that, but at this point, I mean, what's the point of me hiding it? It's just how it is. This is the, I guess, the evolution of the wine stain at this point. I'm calling this the kindling series because this is actually a little piece of kindling I stole out of someone's kindling bucket. The darkest lines are actually wood burning, and then the red that you see is wine, and then this is a white gouache, and then this is gold ink. 
I really like that kind of classical representational style as well. I drink the wine while I paint with it, which, I mean, how many artists can say that? If you, if you eat the th stuff that you use for oil, I mean, you're gonna poison yourself. I really enjoy the nature of being able to drink my medium. I'm just using it in a way that is really fun for me. And I think it's fun for people to look at because it's a way to, to see something in a different light. Um, and it's just, it's pretty cool, you know? I didn't think, I didn't even think you could paint with wine. <laughs> so it's been an interesting process for me.